Good afternoon. I'm Ernie Bauer, the Senior Advisor and Director of the Southeast Asia Program here at CSIS. And we're very fortunate this afternoon to have the U.S. Ambassador to Vietnam, David Shear, with us. Welcome, David. Thank you very much, Ernie. Could you tell us a little bit about the um, status of uh, U.S.-Vietnam relations? Uh, we've normalized the relationship, and, and now it seems to be going in, in some new directions. Overall, where are we headed? U.S.-Vietnam relations have grown tremendously since we normalized relations in 1995. Last year, the two countries did $22 billion in two-way trade. That represented a 20 percent increase over 2010 trade. So the, the relationship has great potential in the economic sphere. We also have great potential in diplomatic cooperation and people-to-people -people relations as well. We have 15,000 Vietnamese students studying in the United States now, and they'll make tremendous ambassadors when they return to their home country. Home country. Absolutely. Vietnam is one of the uh, nine countries, along with the United States, negotiating the Trans-Pacific Partnership Trade Agreement. Could you tell us a little bit about uh, the state of the negotiations and, and how Vietnam views it? Vietnam and the United States concluded a bilateral trade agreement 10 years ago. And when we, when we concluded that agreement, two-way trade stood at about $400 million. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned earlier, two-way trade uh, last year was $22 billion. So both sides have benefited tremendously from the, uh, the opening trade relationship we've established since uh, the early 2000s. And we hope that with the conclusion of the Trans-Pacific Partnership, uh, uh, our economic relationship will move to the next level. And Vietnam has a, a, a great deal to benefit from uh, further opening trade with the United States, as do we. You, uh, on the trade side, we, we're making progress. What about on the strategic side? I think uh, the United States and Vietnam are talking about a strategic partnership. What, is, what does that look like and what are the aspects of it? Vietnam and the United States have a strong common interest in continued peace and stability in Southeast Asia in general and in the South China Sea in particular. Mm -hmm. And we have worked together very closely to ensure that uh, regional security issues uh, remain very much on the multilateral uh, agenda in uh, regional diplomacy. And I expect that we will continue to cooperate very closely to, to pursue this common interest in the future. Congress has, U.S. Congress has uh, expressed concerns about the human rights and religious freedom uh, issues in Vietnam. Could you give us an update on, on what's going on in those areas? Well, the Viet uh, Vietnam has a ways to go uh, in order to improve their human rights record, as our annual uh, human rights report uh, suggests. Uh, the Vietnamese, we hope, will do what will work hard to release political prisoners, to increase the opportunities for freedom of uh, expression and freedom of uh, association, and we also look for improvements in uh, religious freedom as well. The Vietnamese are also working on trafficking in persons. Yes. We've seen some improvements there. They have recently passed a uh, anti-trafficking law, and we uh, expect to work very closely with the Vietnamese as they implement that law. Um, just to follow up on that, uh, the military-to-military -military relationship. Obviously, you know we've fought a war together uh, w against each other, uh, but. But we are now talking about normalizing mill-to-mill -mill relations. Could you, uh, could you give us a little look into the, to that process? Military-to-military -military ties between our two countries took a big step forward last September okay. when we concluded a, a memorandum of understanding on military cooperation. And on the basis of that MOU, we're going to explore further cooperation in such areas as peacekeeping, uh, humanitarian assistance and d disaster relief, relief, as well as military-to-military -military exchanges uh, uh, among our uh, military training institutions. So I, I think we have a great deal of potential in this area, and uh, I, I would look to see us implementing that MOU over the next year or so. That's great. People-to-people -people ties, uh, education. The United States just made a, a, a major uh, donation on the education side for, for scholarships. Where are we on, on education and, and ties between our countries? Uh, education represents a great export for the United States uh, to Vietnam, and it's got great uh, future potential. 
As I mentioned earlier, we've got 15,000 uh, Vietnamese students in the United States at, in many different kinds of uh, institutions of higher education. There's really uh, a, a university or a college or a community college here for every Vietnamese uh, uh, requirement. Um, and we're encouraging even more Vietnamese to study in the United States. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we're very interested in helping the Vietnamese improve their own educational infrastructure, and we're implementing a variety of programs in Vietnam uh, to help them do that. Well, Ambassador Shear, thank you for joining us today. We certainly are well represented in Hanoi with you there. Thank you for coming Thanks to see us. Thanks very much. Life.